Audi. It's been a while since I started looking at some of the Star Wars Transformers range. I decided to end those reviews on a positive note by saving the Darth Vader Death Star till last. Though this is certainly not the end of my Transformers reviews in general. Since the figure is packaged in mech mode, I'll start with that. This version of Vader has the largest mech mode in the line even towering over the Millennium Falcon duo. Some have said he's as tall as Armada Unicron or Cybertron Primus, though I don't have either of those to prove it. At the very least, he should be up there with the Transformers leader class figures. His proportions are pretty close to perfect, especially compared with the other two versions of Vader. The head could be a bit bigger, but there are no oddities otherwise. He certainly has enough bulk to give him the appearance of a powerful warrior. There's some good mold detailing on the body and the limbs, whilst the head is accurately sculpted to that of the character. He even has painted optics, but they don't make him look bug-eyed like the Sith Starfighter Vader. Instead they enhance his evil appearance further. Being a major shell former, he has plenty of kibble all around. One large chunk of the Death Star folds up against another, though it slots in automatically for a stable fit. Fortunately the cape, which attaches into a groove here, covers this up, thus improving the overall look of the mode. It's a very nice accessory by itself, too. Despite his kibble, he's reasonably articulated. It's spread out evenly so it doesn't cause many balance issues. Two pieces also act as heel spurs, giving him more support. His head can only turn about halfway either direction. But even at 40 pounds, you can't have everything. Four minifigures come with this toy. One of these is Vader, the other three are Stormtroopers. They can all be placed inside the clear red plastic compartments. Though on my copy, this one doesn't close very well for some reason. For weapons you've got the blaster, which fires a spring-loaded missile. Then there's this really impressive lightsaber, which activates one of the sound gimmicks when placed in Vader's hand. And it's bloody loud, I must say. To hear this again, just press this button on his arm. Like the Millennium Falcon set, he has voice electronics. If you press this button, you can hear one of five phrases which are repeated in a cycle, and they all end with Vader's iconic wheezing. There are two sides to the transformation. Going from Death Star to Mech Mode isn't too bad, but the reverse conversion? Well, let's just say those of you expecting me to do a separate video on that may have to wait a little longer. You fold the legs backwards at the knees and connect the arms to the hips. The rest is basically panel folding which is where it gets really annoying. Some have a tendency to pop off, whilst others move out of place during the folding. I strongly recommend you read the instructions for this to help figure out which order to shift things around. So here I go.
For the love of... <gasps> Once finished, you have these two compartments. You can store the cape in one of them. There's no proper place for the lightsaber to go. Though you can sort of cram it down this opening on top. Some may fear a possible breakage, though. As for the Death Star itself, like the Millennium Falcon, it's practically flawless. The mold and paint detailing is beyond excellent, and apart from the groove where the missile is, it's a perfect sphere, unlike Unicron and Primus. He is said to be smaller than those two in their planet modes, but that's not a problem with me. It's also rather solid, once you finally get all the f***ing shell pieces in place. What's especially nifty is that four small leg stands fold out from the bottom, which prevent it from rolling on the shelf. He comes with some small TIE Fighters, which can be displayed alongside. They're rather crudely assembled, but at least this makes storing them easier. Cause you can take them apart and put them in this other compartment. He has some more electronics in this mode. Pressing this button activates one of two sounds. You may fire when ready. And And in the dark, you can see green lights flash as well. Finally, if you open these panels on top, and you press down on what is actually Vader's head, the missile should fire. As I said earlier, this mode is virtually perfect even with the transformation cracks. Overall, if there's one problem with this toy, it's that the transformation to Death Star mode is really, really frustrating. Though I imagine some get used to it after a while. But the solid alt form, the great mech mode, and the fun gimmicks and accessories are more than enough to make up for it. Series 3 of my videos has come to an end. I'll be doing some more in a short while, but until then, 